Hey guys, so not long ago I did an unboxing and setup guide for the Trezor One hardware wallet, and lots of you kindly got in touch, and lots of you requested uh, that I do a similar one for one of the Ledger devices, because as you know, uh, Trezor and Ledger are the two kind of OG crypto hardware wallet manufacturers. So I thought it was only fair uh, to do an unboxing and setup guide for a Ledger as well. I'm going to show you the Ledger Nano X. Now, up until quite recently, the Ledger Nano X was Ledger's kind of uh, premium device, if you like. It retails uh, at around about $150. Now, the Ledger Nano S is the smaller uh, and slightly cheaper Ledger device, uh, but the Nano X is a next step up. Now, Ledger also has another uh, shiny new wallet hitting the market very soon, the Ledger Flux, which is going to be its kind of premium device from here on in. That hasn't been uh, released yet, and I'll definitely be having a look at it uh, when it is released. Um, but the Nano X is a really, uh, really well-loved, very reliable wallet from Ledger. So uh, I thought we'd have a look at it today. Here we are. Here it is in the box, the Ledger Nano X. Now this has kind of all the specifications uh, that you would expect from the Nano S, uh, but it also has Bluetooth connectivity as well. So you can connect it to your phone via Bluetooth and manage your wallet via the Ledger Live app on your phone. So that's kind of, I guess, what you're paying uh, the extra money for from the Nano S. One thing to remember when you're buying your hardware wallet, folks, and I spoke about this when I did the Trezor setup, is it's really, really important to buy direct from the manufacturer. Don't buy it from a third-party site like eBay or even Amazon, I would say. Now, the reason why is that there have been cases in the past uh, where people have got hold of these wallets, um, opened them up, got hold of the seed phrases, and then repackaged them and sold them on via a, th a third-party site. So it's very, it's uh, the ideal security is to get yours direct from the manufacturer. So go direct to Ledger's website. We also have a deal with Ledger as well. If you click our link in the description, then that will take you to the Ledger site where you can buy your own Nano X. And I should point out as well that we do get a little cut of that deal. So just make you aware, or you can visit the Ledger site yourself. Just make sure, double check, even triple check that it is the correct and official Ledger site. So make sure you've got that web address spelt correctly. Okay, now when your wallet arrives in the post, uh, the first thing you want to make sure of is that it hasn't been tampered with. Now, Trezor, as you might have noticed if you'd seen that video, uh, it secures its wallets in, in its box, in their boxes, with sort of holographic seals. And if obviously, if those seals are broken, you know that the box has been opened and you don't want to touch the wallet. Now, Ledger doesn't seem to do this, um, but you will see uh, that it is uh, that it is wrapped in plastic. So if that plastic wrapper is intact, that is the first good sign that you want to be looking for. Make sure there are no signs that the device has been tampered with in any way. So it's time to open it up. So the first thing to do is to get rid of the plastic wrapper in the best way you can. It was a bit fiddly. Take that off just so as you know that this, this one hasn't been interfered with. There we are. Okay, so there we have it in the box and it's time to open it up and take a look. So you'll see this sleeve just peels off like that. Put that there. That is what you're going to be confronted with uh, the box itself. So let's get the lid off that. And there we are, the device itself, the Ledger Nano X. And as you can see, it's got this kind of nice brush steel sort of look. Now we'll, we'll look at the device itself in a bit more detail in just a moment. Let's see what else is in the box though. So you can then uh, remove this kind of bit of packaging there. The next thing you come to is the welcome pack. This has got all the kind of instructions and stuff that you need. Again, we'll look at that in just a moment's time. Next thing is this, the USB to USB-C cable. This will come in useful when it is time to set up the device itself. So we'll just put that there. And then if you dive under this last bit of packaging, which again, we can get rid of, 
you will see there is this nice little lanyard there for the wallet too. That is what is in the box, the device itself, uh, the lanyard, the setup cable, and of course, the welcome guide. That is all we need from the box, so we can put that to one side. Let's now quickly just take a look at what is inside the welcome pack. So these will slide out. So uh, first and foremost, you've got your quick start guide. So that will tell you, that will talk you through the setup process. And oh, you've also got this, uh, this piece here, which tells you a bit about the Ledger Live software as well. Now that's the software uh, that you'll download on your phone or on your PC. And that is the software that you use to interact with your wallet. Uh, it's just like the kind of Trezor suite uh, that we got with the Trezor one. There's your getting started guide. And then of course, one, two, three sheets to note down your recovery seed phrase. Very, very important. Uh, a use case and regulatory statement. This is all the sort of stuff that tells you it's not a toy, don't set it on fire, don't eat it, and all that sort of stuff. And then finally, of course, some stickers. There we are. Everyone likes stickers, an absolute deal breaker for me, if you ask me. Anyhow, there is the device itself. Uh, so as you see, it just kind of opens up like that. You'll also see it's got this little screen protector on. You can just Take that off like that, get rid of that. You'll see because I've pressed one of these two buttons here, that sort of turns it on and you get the little welcome sign there. So we will come back to that with the setup, but there it is. That is what is in the box. It's time to set this baby up. Now, before you do anything else, you'll need to download the Ledger Live software. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using it on a PC. Uh, obviously, Ledger Live is available as an app on your phone as well, but we're going to use the PC version for this. Um, and it's really, really important to make sure that you download the software from the correct site. So again, when you're typing in Ledger Live into your browser, make sure that it's all spelt correctly. Sometimes there are shell sites which will have you download dodgy software. So make sure everything is spelt correctly. Okay, and again, we have the device itself here. But first of all, we're gonna go to some of the paperwork that we got with, uh, that we looked at earlier. So you'll remember, first of all, uh, it was this bit talking about Ledger Live, start your journey with Ledger Live. That just tells you where to go to get it. We've also got the getting started guide as well. And of course, uh, these three uh, recovery sheets for your seed phrase. Now we don't need those just yet. So I'm gonna put those to one side and the use care and regulatory statement, we don't need that either. And of course, uh, there were some stickers as well. Uh, the best thing to do is probably to give those to any children around and that will keep them happy and quiet. So uh, another really important thing on that note is that when you're setting up your Ledger or any other hardware wallet for that matter, it's not a very long process, guys but you really need to make sure that you're doing it somewhere private so you don't have anyone looking over your shoulder. Don't do it in a cafe on a public Wi-Fi network or anything like that. And because there is a little bit of concentration involved, especially when it comes to noting down your seed phrase, make sure there are no distractions. So if there are any kids, pets, anything like that, get rid of them. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, so make sure you have peace and quiet and privacy for when you are setting up your wallet. I've got the Ledger Live software open on my, I've got it downloaded and opened on my PC. In that first window, you will see Get Started. That is what you want because you've already bought a Ledger Nano X. You don't need that second option. And then select which one you have. Now, this is obviously a Ledger Nano X that we are setting up. So we select that. It is indeed our first time using a Nano X, so you want to select that. Obviously, uh, if you do, you can um, connect uh, an old wallet using the recovery phrase, but we're not doing that today. So set up a new Nano X. Okay, access your crypto. Your crypto assets are stored on the blockchain. You need a private key to access and manage them. This is a good point, actually, because it's a common kind of misconception that you are storing your crypto, you know, your coins themselves 
on your hardware wallet device. That is not the case. All crypto is kept on the blockchain. What you are storing is the private keys to that crypto. Uh, so that's an important thing to be aware of there. Anyhow, that's Ledger letting us know, giving us a little lesson. Own your private key. Your private key is stored within your nano. You must be the only one to own it to be in control of your money. Absolutely right. Stay offline. Yes, your nano works as a cold storage wallet. This means that it never exposes your private key online, even when using the app. Very important. And Ledger Live allows you to buy, sell, manage, exchange, and earn crypto while remaining protected. You will validate every transa crypto transaction with your Nano. Exactly. Okay, it's time to set up your Nano. Let's do this. And if you see there, it gives you a similar prompt in the Ledger Live software. Plan 30 minutes and take your time. Grab a pen to write with. I've got one of those there. Uh, stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment. Ledger, it's like we're, it's like we're on the same page here. Great minds, eh? OK, you'll see that button saying, OK, I'm ready. I should hope so. All right. Uh, and then you have this four step process. Turn on Nano, uh, connect your device to the computer with the USB cable. OK, so the USB cable, you'll remember. Let's turn our device on. Now, that should be one of these buttons here. I think it's the left hand button. There we are. Welcome to Ledger Nano X. Press right button to continue. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com forward slash start, then press right. We've already done that. We are ahead of that game. Use buttons to navigate menus and lists. Again, you'll remember there are these two buttons here. They will help you navigate through the device itself. And you press both buttons to select when you've alighted on your uh, preferred selection. Hold both buttons at any time to go to Control Center to power off and more. So yeah, if you want to turn it off, uh, hold both buttons down. If we go back to the software here, uh, you see these other few steps here. Learn how to interact with your device by reading the on-screen instructions. Set up as new device. You'll see that prompt there. That is what we are looking to do. We are looking to set up as new device. So press both buttons. Choose a pin with four to eight digits. OK, so this is a pin to secure the device itself. Now, you don't need me to tell you about uh, choosing a safe and secure pin. Ideally, don't use your birthday. Don't use one, two, three, four, five or anything like that. Find a truly random at least four digit number. The more digits, the more secure it is. So I'm going to select that. Just for the sake of time, I'm just going to select a four digit pin for now. You can always go back and change it another time. We've entered our pin. We then press both buttons to select again. It's going to ask you to confirm it. This is basically why the setup, uh, the setup phase itself takes a long time because you're having to confirm. It's making sure that everything you set and everything you note down, you've, you've made a note of. So, and obviously you're going to want to make a note of this pin uh, and don't store that on any on any connected device. So, OK, and you've confirmed your pin and then always choose a pin code yourself. Always enter your pin code out of sight. Yeah, all all good OPSEC here. And then it takes you to this prompt for the recovery phrase. Again, you have to click that you understand that if you lose your recovery phrase, you're in trouble. Take your recovery sheet, write down those 24 words. It's time to write down your recovery phrase. So as you'll see here, this is giving you a prompt on the device itself. Your device will generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. It is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed. Now, if you watched the video that I did on the Trezor one, you will know how important it is, guys, that you note down your recovery phrase uh, and you keep make at least one copy of it. Well, it, keep at least two copies of it, uh, because if you lose your recovery phrase, you are screwed. OK, write it down on your recovery sheet in the correct order. So this is where these recovery sheets come in handy. As you see, Ledger has kindly given you three of these ones. So we're just going to use one for purposes of this demonstration. OK, press both buttons to continue. Now, it's giving me uh, the it's giving me the recovery phrase on the device screen itself. So 
I am now going to write these down. This is going to take a while, so we'll obviously uh, we'll obviously skip through this, but I'm going to securely note down the first word there. When it's done, you just scroll on. Second word. And again, this is the most time-consuming part of this process, but believe me, guys, it is time well spent. Okay, so I've just noted down my first set of seed words. Press left to verify your 24 words is the prompt that then comes up. Press both buttons to continue. So I verify, and again, this lets you scroll back through. Now you'll see that each seed word is numbered on the device, so it'll say right word number 23, right word number 24. And the uh, on the seed card that you're given, there are numbers. So this fr this bit is really, really important. You just want to scroll back and make sure that the word you've written down next to each number corresponds with what it says on the device. Then you can press both buttons to continue when you're happy that you've got your seed phrase fully noted down. Press both buttons to continue. Now it's time to confirm your recovery phrase. And again, it's going to take you through those words. Confirm word number one. Now it'll give you it'll give you a number of options. It'll ask you to confirm word number one, but it won't give you the correct answer. So you'll have to scroll through until you find it. And then once you've found it, both buttons. Again, this is a time-consuming process, but it's making it's to make sure, check and check again that you've got the correct words written down. Your recovery phrase is set, keep it in a safe place. Absolutely right. Keep it in a safe place. I'll give you some more tips on how to keep your recovery phrase safe a little later on. And as I said earlier, you've got three of these seed cards, and I highly suggest writing down that phrase three times. And then you can keep it, keep them all in a different place. Scroll onwards. If lost, stolen, or forgotten, all your assets will be immediately lost. Again, I can't stress it enough, guys. This recovery phrase that you've noted down is the key to your assets. If you lose it, you are in trouble. Never share it with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. So this is something to be aware of, folks. You might get phishing emails pretending to be from Ledger asking you to just enter your seed phrase. Don't do it. Ledger will never ask you for your seed phrase. Then it's a prompt. Press both buttons to continue. And your device is ready. There we are. I'll just show you that there. The device is ready. So turned on the Nano, you can then also just connect it to your uh, PC. When you connect it with the, uh, with the USB cable, you'll be uh, prompted to enter the pin again. And then confirm. Then, just to, just to hammer that point home, they give you a little quiz. Should we take the quiz and see how we've got on? Answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions about your hardware wallet. Let's take this quiz. Let's do it. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano or on the blockchain? Crypto is stored on the blockchain. Congratulations. Whew. Next question. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure or private, no problem. Ledger can send me a copy. My crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place. Ledger cannot send you a copy. Ledger does not have your phrase and ne never, neither should you ever give it to Ledger. My crypto is no longer safe if, you, if your recovery phrase is no longer safe. Okay. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline or briefly connected to the internet. It is still offline. It remains offline and it must remain offline at all times. Finish quiz. How did we do? Already a pro. Uh, you're ready to safely manage your crypto. Only one quick step left. So you've taken the quiz. Let's face it, guys. If you don't get three out of three on that one, we'll verify whether your Nano is genuine. This should be quick and easy. Okay, so your Nano is secure. So then go to check my Nano. Connect and unlock your device. So, okay, so connect device. 
Time to put in the pin again. So again, OK, it's checking. Allow Ledger Manager on your device. OK, uh, so it's prompting you to double click there. The Ledger Lite, all good. Whew. Your Ledger Nano X is genuine and ready to use with Ledger Live. Fantastic news. OK, add an account to start managing your crypto assets. You must have the app for your crypto asset installed on your device. OK, so this is basically how Ledger uh, stores these different coins and tokens. You need a particular app uh, for most for each coin, uh, not necessarily for each individual token. Um, but uh, yeah, so for ERC20 tokens, for instance, uh, that should be covered in one app. So you want to install an app. So let's click Add Account. So let's just go simple and let's just add the app for Bitcoin. This takes a few seconds. The app is now installing on your device. Once the Bitcoin app is installed on the Ledger device, you'll be able to store Bitcoin on it. It only takes a few seconds. And there it is, the Bitcoin app. And you've pressed both to open it again. Bitcoin is ready. Just see it on there. Bitcoin is ready. Fantastic. OK. And that, guys, is really all there is to it. Um, but that is your device pretty much set up. You can add other apps as well. If you go to Add Account, you can just see the drop down here, all the other ones that you can add. There's lots and lots of choices there. Some pretty interesting choices of crypto as well. Um, but yeah, the Ledger, the Nano X really does store an awful lot of, uh, of different uh, of different coins and tokens. It's got some of the best coin storage out there. That is it, guys. Your Ledger device is now all set up and it's ready to start moving your crypto onto it from your exchange accounts or wherever. Now, these ledgers uh, have a lot of other functionality. You can store NFTs on, on them as well. You can also stake a certain selection of cryptos uh, through Ledger Live. Um, and there's a whole load of other stuff for it as well. You can also use Ledger Live to buy, sell and swap crypto as well. So it's it's there's a lot of functionality. So do take the time to explore the Ledger Live app. But of course, the most important thing is to make sure that you then store your hardware wallet and your seed phrase in a safe place and never together. OK, that is how to set it up. It's all pretty straightforward. And guys, just a final word on your seed phrase. Now, as you saw during the setup, we were careful to note down that seed phrase on the uh, pieces of paper provided with the wallet itself. And there is, of course, a risk to noting down your seed phrase on a piece of paper, and that is that pieces of paper can get damaged by water or fire, etc. So fortunately, there are other ways in which to keep your seed phrase safe and stored more permanently. And one of them is to use a metal seed card like this one here that uh, we sell on the Coin Bureau merch store. And as you can see, it's got our lovely logo on the front there. And that just opens up. It comes with some screws so as you can screw it back shut and you will have and you will see that it's got there uh, where you can engrave your seed phrase. Now, it also happily comes uh, with one of these, which is just a little engraving stylus or pen or whatever you call it. Uh, nice sharp little nib there. And you just engrave your seed words there like that. Very easy. It takes a little bit longer uh, than just writing it down on a piece of paper. But you can be sure that even if it does fall in some water, even if it does uh, get burned in any way, you won't lose your seed phrases. So that's just another option for keeping your seed phrases secure. Always remember, however you're storing your seed phrase, whether it's on one of these, whether it's on a piece of paper, however you're doing it, it needs to be offline. Don't store your seed phrase on your phone or your computer and store the piece of paper or the seed card with them on. Store it securely and don't store it with your wallet either. It's really, really important, folks, that you practice safe security procedures.
Okay, that was just a final word on seed phrases and general OPSEC, folks. Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and please do let me know if you would like to see more like it, and don't forget to like and subscribe.